Hello and welcome to today's video in which we are going to talk about uh, block protection and know-how protection and write protection um, for your program. And the last time we talked about um, the whole PLC, you download it, it sits there, the program sits there and no one can access it if you don't have the password. You can also make it more fine looking at single blocks, protecting each block. Um, this is called block protection. Right, and I have a program here. Right now, the program looks like this. I have my main. In my main, I have one function that's called unprotected. I can just simply go into this unprotected function. Right, I can look at it. I can change things. I can add more stuff. Uh, I can do everything with it because it is unprotected. And now I can download it, and everyone can access this um, this this program part here. Pretty bad. <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to be because there should be know-how protection so that no one can steal your program, no one can change it uh, unless there's the password protection. Uh, therefore, let's create another function here very quick. Uh, I am protected. Right. So I won't put anything in here. Uh, uh, except some stuff uh, like this goes in there this goes to there some program doesn't matter it could be anything so this block is right now still unprotected meaning everyone can access it everyone that has tia portal or also if i download the program right, if i download the program it's now on the plc i can go on online access and i can search for my plc there's programs and blocks i can I can go in there and um, and check for the problem. I was just wondering because there's this little lock here and this little lock actually says that it is protected. Uh, it must be just a visual error here, uh, just an interface error. So it's unprotected, right? I can go in there, I can check the whole program, I could change things, I can break everything if I feel like it. Um, therefore, this I am protected block, we have different stages of protection. Um, there is write protection, right? I am protected right. If you right click on the function and go to properties, right? Right click and properties, or it should also be if you go to properties down here, there is also um, protection, right? There's protection, uh, but I like right click properties and then it's hovering around here. We have protection and there we have the write prot protection. If you click on define password, you have to set a password hit enter and now it's protected when you click uh, on write protection. You have to put in the password again as a check that you still know your password. Now it's protected. You see write protection is on. I click OK and you see on top here the block uh, can only be read because it is write protected. So if I double click on this, right? You can see the block is, uh, can only be read. The English, the English here is pretty bad actually, but that's okay. Uh, you see, I cannot change anything. I can't make new networks. I cannot change anything, right? If I want to change anything again, right click, properties, write protection. Need to type in my password. Bop. And now it is not protected anymore. I can make changes, right? This is how you can, well, limit people from actually changing your program right protection on i still have my password if you want to change the password you can click here on change password you have to type in the old one the new one that's how it goes if you want to delete your password type in your password here and click on remove right and then it's gone i won't do that right now because this block should be right protected first stage of protection right i can still see the program i can still see it i can still look and observe and monitor what's going on next protection level is know-how protection and that's what most people really want they have their program and no one should be able to look into the program it should work like you can download it it works perfectly fine but no one can look at the program automatically if you have know-how protection no one can change the program right because if you can't look into it you can't change it so it's it's more on a on even a top, higher level than our uh, write protection. So what do I will just make some program here. 
See, this is my my uh, protected. This should be my protected block from know-how, and you can see right now I can still change it, right? My protected block is individual, right? My protected block I cannot change. My unprotected block I can do whatever I want. For my know-how protection, right-click again, properties, uh, protection, and we have know-how protection. If I turn the protection on, I will have to set a password. Here we go. And now it is know-how protected. And also is the block is protected 1G4, whatever 1G4 is, probably some protection level or so. You see, the block is read-only because it is know-how protect, uh, pro uh, protected. I can't see what's in there, right? So if I double-click, you see, I can't get in there. I, I can't click on cancel, it will open, and you see it's empty because it is know-how protected. No one is supposed to see what's in there unless you have got the password. With the password, you can go in here and you can also change stuff. Right? And those are the three levels of protection that we have for those blocks. We have unprotected. Everyone can do whatever they want. We have write protection. If you have the password, then you can change it. Right? You have to deactivate the write protection here. Right click and protection. <clears throat> but you need the password. You can still look at the stuff. And we have the highest level of protection here for individual blocks, which is, <laughs> I'm still, uh, as I am, because I am still working right now and I already put in the password, uh, it lets me do that. Let me just, I typed in the password and now I can click on remove. Now it's gone, right? And I turn on the protection again. <clears throat> and this is our highest level of protection. I go in here and I can't even look at the program without the password, right? Those three levels, unprotected, protected from change, protected from write, and read protected or know how protected, right? Here we go. Yeah, only a quick video, um, but again, very important stuff. Oh, last info, what I almost forgot. If I download this now to the PLC, I can't just download it because it's only the blocks that are protected, not the PLC program itself. I can still change all the program, right? In the last video, I showed how to protect the whole program. Um, and now just looking at individual blocks. So I downloaded it and now on the PLC, maybe I have to uh, update. Maybe I have to update my interface here. Um, because there is something with the with the locks. It should only show the locks in the right place. Yeah, here we here we have the locks. So main is unprotected. I can just check it. I am unprotected as unprotected. I can go in there. I am protected right, right protection. I can go in there and still look at it, but it will tell me, hey, you can change stuff. Of course, it's online. I can't change anyway, but still. Uh, and then we have know-how protection. Boop. I can't go in there. It, I can go in, but it won't show anything, even if I'm just checking the online program. Very good. Always always use protection, right? Always use protection. You learn that when you're young already. Um, it's the same here for PLCs and programs. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. If you have any remarks, also leave them in the comments below. Um, if this helped you, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.